without putting on a uniform Smart when nuts and rode a unicorn through the storm Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video And guys today what we're gonna be doing is opening up some packs We're gonna be trying to pull the brand new Johnny Manziel and Jadavion Clowney cards Obviously guys if you guys don't know those cards did come out today There is a 99 overall Jadavion Clowney a 98 overall Johnny Manziel Absolutely ridiculous. Um, the Manzel right now, the last time that I saw was going for 2 million coins. I want to make sure that that's still correct. I think there was only one up the last time that I looked. And yeah, there's still only the one up at the moment. I'm sure there will be more pulled um, shortly here. But uh, let's take a quick look at the Clowny too. Because obviously, guys, the Jadavion Clowny card is the highest overall uh, as far as, like you know, that you can get at right end. 99 overall. It's going for 2.5 mil right now. Crazy, crazy card, guys. Um, this thing has ridiculous attributes. Obviously, with Clowny, you'd expect the speed, 94 speed, 98 acceleration. So if you're somebody that uses your defensive end and gets those B-gap blitzes, this card is the one for you. This card is absolutely crazy, guys. It is a really, really good card. So that's what we're going to be going for today. I did actually open up one random pro pack prior to recording this video. So uh, I went on here, and uh, I'll show you guys. I opened up... One card that's pretty darn good. I'll just show you real quick um, Just randomly open up this Logan Ryan, so that's not too bad um, We got a 91 overall to start the day off. I didn't get a live reaction to that or anything I just opened up a random pro pack and that's what we got so uh, not too bad man uh, 91 overall card to final edition Logan Ryan could be worse could definitely be better of course But what we're gonna be hoping for guys is to pull one of those high overall campus heroes That would be amazing. I haven't had a great pull in this game in quite some time so Hopefully we can get something done today. I think what we're going to do guys is open up a handful of just standard pro packs and then we'll end it with a campus hero pack to finish it off 100,000 coins on one of those. So uh, let's go in guys. Let's open up these pro packs. Let's see what we can pull. Hopefully you guys are having great luck pulling packs as well. Oh, uh, also there's the Campus Hero Pro Pack. I wish that they would take this thing off of the featured thing because it's kind of a pain in the butt to go back and forth between this, but whatever. Uh, we'll continue to just do it. The standard Pro Packs, man. That's what I've had the best luck with over the years. And we get a Ray Maluga. Okay. Could be worse. Started off with an 84 overall gold. Okay. Um, but like I said, guys, I've continued to have the best luck just pulling standard Pro Packs. I guess... I, I mean, it's possible that I've pulled some great stuff out of the bigger packs, but it just feels like the really great stuff that I've pulled has been just with me uh, through attrition, just opening up a ton of packs at once, opening up 20 packs or more at a time, and, you know, pulling the Barry Sanders like I did a couple of years back, or um, or even last year as well, uh, or pulling, uh, you know, stuff like that, just the high overall stuff. That's what I'm really hoping to do again today, and we get a James Carpenter, so nothing out of this. Three pro packs in, nothing really yet. And guys, if you're noticing, my nose is a little bit red. I went to Florida this past week. That's why there hasn't been much for videos uploaded. Uh, went with the family, had a really great time. Went to Harry Potter World. I don't know, I forget what it's called. The Wizarding World of Harry Potter in uh, Universal in Orlando, and that was really a lot of fun. Uh, we didn't bring the baby because she's too young to really, you know, like appreciate it. And it's pretty hot out and she doesn't want to be out in the sun for, you know, five, six, seven hours at a time. So um, we left her with the, the grandparents and aunt and uncle. And she had a lot of had a lot of fun. We went to the to the ocean. She got her first experience at the ocean. That was a lot of fun to see. Um, if you guys don't know, I have an 18 year old daughter, 18 year old, 18 month old daughter. Um, and she is, uh, she's pretty much the, the love of my life at this point. She's just awesome. So much fun to be with, uh, to hang out with and, uh, you know, and to watch her learn and grow and stuff. So it's, it's really been, it's really been a lot of fun, uh, being a dad. And she did great on the plane rides down there. She did great on the plane ride back. Not quite as good on the plane ride back, but on the way down there, there was like no crying at all, no being unhappy at all. And it's like from Minnesota to Orlando, or to, I guess we flew into Tampa um, because we were staying somewhere else. But they, uh, it was like a three, three and a half hour plane ride, and she did great the whole time. Fell asleep. She was, she was really a, a dream. So that was a lot of. It was a lot of fun going down there. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever been to to Universal, but man, I will definitely say that if you're going to go to Universal and you want to do more than one thing throughout the day, like if you want to go to the Harry Potter thing 
and you want to do other stuff, you should definitely get more than one day of a pass. Or if you plan on going there, uh, do a whole day, like beginning when they first open up until they close. Because seriously, the only thing that we had time to do was go to the Harry Potter thing. That was it. So that kind of sucked for me because I'm actually not a huge Harry Potter person. But uh, my wife had a lot of fun. She's she's huge into Harry Potter. So we got to do uh, both the Islands of Adventure exhibit over there, the, the Hogwarts school, and then uh, also like the little city where you can go and buy stuff. So it was pretty fun. Got some butter beer. Had a really good time. Hopefully you guys have been having fun opening up packs and playing Madden. I know it's been uh, it's been tough lately. Um, you know, I haven't seen a whole lot of people pulling great stuff out of packs, unfortunately. So I don't know if it's just uh, that I'm not following the right people or what, but I feel like uh, I feel like the pack odds this year, man, are super super low. I don't know. What, what do you guys think about that? Do you guys think the pack odds in Madden 16 are a lot lower than they were in Madden 15 and Madden 25? And obviously they're a lot lower than Madden 13 and, and before that, but. What do you guys think about it? I mean, have you guys pulled any of like the really, really good stuff, like the you know 500k or above stuff yet in in this game, or have you even pulled anything that's 200k? Because the only stuff that I can remember that I've pulled like really early in the game, I got a a 24 hour card, I got a Luke Keekly. and that was you know like those were really good at the time. Um, they weren't the best cards in the game, but they were really, really good, and. Other than that, like, I, I just can't remember pulling anything great. So, I don't know. And, and out of these pro packs, we haven't pulled a one single elite. Obviously, I got the one single elite, the uh, the Logan Ryan, before I started this. But, like, in all these pro packs, not even one elite. Not a base elite card. Like, it's just brutal, man. It's so hard to build your team. I can't imagine building your team by just opening packs. Like, I don't even know if it's possible unless you were spending thousands and thousands of dollars. So, uh, well, anyways, guys, we didn't get anything out of the pro packs, but let's go in here. Let's do the Campus Hero pack. Maybe we'll get something out of this. It guarantees one Campus Hero gold or better player, uh, one Campus Hero collectible, six gold or better players, and four team items. Hopefully a Manzel or a, uh, a Clowny are in one of these. Let's go, guys. Wish me some luck. 100,000 coins on the line here. Justin Tuck, okay. Nate Allen, getting a lot of base golds. Nothing really yet. And we get, damn it, a Campus Hero patch. Son of a bitch. I really wanted something epic out of that when I saw red, but, ugh. And we get a Justin Gilbert Campus Hero, and that's going to do it. So, unfortunately, guys, we do not pull a damn thing worth anything in this entire pack opening. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it anyway though, so hopefully you guys got an update on where I've been the past couple of days. I will be uploading regular content here over the next couple of weeks, of course. Um, don't really have anything planned as far as like vacation stuff or anything like that for quite some time, so um, there's really no excuse. Computer's fixed, should be ready to go. Um, so be on the lookout for that, guys. I have another video already rendered and ready to upload tomorrow, so I'll see you guys on that video. Hopefully you guys have good luck opening packs today. Hopefully you guys get a Manzel or a clowny. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to drop a like if you're new. Subscribe to the channel, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.